I have very vivid memories of playing school as a child and I've always wanted to teach. I, I love going to school as a student. I love being an educator. As a kid, I always wanted to play school. Being a principal is the best job I've ever had. I think it goes back to because I still think that I'm doing what I was doing as a kid. The College Board Leadership Institute for Principals is a year-long program of leadership development for practicing principals. The program builds the capacity of school leaders to create rigorous and nurturing school environments by providing them with the knowledge and tools to meet and master today's leadership challenges. Oftentimes in the job, we're, we don't have an opportunity to get together with other principals and have a chance to reflect on our work. A lot of our job is managing the day to day, but there's a whole other part of leadership uh, that we, we need. It takes more than just being a good person and a hard worker to be a top leader in today's schools. And the CBLIP program has allowed me to begin down that path to develop really excellent skills. We're trying to help people look at their leadership and the skills that they hold or may need to further develop to really transform their schools to better serve student needs. The way in which we deliver our curriculum not only gives them knowledge and information, but enables them to spend the time in a safe environment practicing new skills. Please, stop in the main office. We need to get some names and telephone numbers. This doesn't need to be a one-time event. The role play with my CBLIP cohort has really given me the opportunity to stand back and reflect, thinking of things from a different perspective trying to take into account how the other person feels and always having the end result in mind. I could hear myself and I kept thinking, even though there were people saying things to me in the crowd, I had to keep going and talk through it. I think for years, people believed that um, principals are the king and queens of their own domain. And uh, we are supposed to work in isolation and resolve all of our problems internally. And in reality, that's not the way to do it. Here I'm learning something, I'm applying it, I'm experiencing it. I'm never going to forget those things. That's the way to learn it. You see it, you feel it, you practice it, you're experiencing it, and, and then it never goes away. The whole idea of learning how to be reflective and to change your practice with new information is an intentional goal. Is this, in fact, our vision? Our school is a place where teachers share the leadership our school is a place where student achievement is center, where we've got kids that are at or above grade level. Our vision is that kids are ready. This is up in the faculty room. I think the common element that we are all realizing is that what drives us is children, students. The values, attitudes, beliefs, competencies of the principal in a school, the higher they are and the better they are, the higher student achievement is. There are lots of times when the principal has no one to talk to in the building about the issues that he or she is facing. One of the things that the network does is provide folks with a, a resource of people that they can get help from, they can get ideas from, they can get support from, and they can get encouragement from. If I need help or I'm having a difficult time with something, all I have to do is pick up the phone, uh, email someone, or we have our own learning group wiki website, and I can go to that website and communicate to my group through the website. It's about feedback. You get quality and valuable feedback from experienced personnel, the experienced colleagues. It's very challenging to be a leader pressing on change, pressing on change when you're constantly getting pressed upon back from the, yeah. I think that sometimes in the beginning of a process, you're pushing, you're pushing, and you are maybe overly rigid so that they understand that, you, that you're serious and that you mean what you're saying and your, your expectations are that you're going to hold them accountable for those things. And I find myself eagerly taking notes. I'm writing down so and asking questions. So how did you get to this point? And so what are you doing that's successful? Or what did you try that didn't work? At six APs, we had about... How do you manage that? <laughs> you know, what I did, I had separate meetings with different groups. And I tried to all get them in, going in the right direction, but I didn't. They've been able to engage in a really intense and, and intimate uh, way with people that are really from completely different places, different schools, different grade levels, and to find a lot of things that they have in common. I just don't spend enough time uh, doing fun things with colleagues. It's always business. You gotta have fun.
we also provide experiences for folks. Some of these experiences happen at night and they're fun, but they're really ways that folks can learn more about change and meeting challenges that at first seem like impossible, but then somehow they figure out how to do it together and in the practice of those things, hone their leadership skills and understand more about leadership as a result of debriefing and understanding those activities. We think we've created a powerful opportunity and a powerful support system for people who have been entrusted with the lives and development of not only our children, but our nation's future. By continuing to do this work and reaching more principals and empowering them to share what they learn with their colleagues, we hope to reach more and more schools and more and more school leaders. I believe that the CBLIP program will allow me to be better at my job. It actually gives you hands-on, very practical strategies that I can bring back and implement right in my school next week. This is a relationship that's been established that will be for life and that it's one of those kind of things like your family member, you can pick up the phone and they'll be there for you and I believe that that's been established here. One of my veteran teachers came to me and she goes, I just love it when you go to CBLIP because when you come back, you really feel like you've been valued. And she said, you come back with just this new energy and this great, these great ideas. And she goes, that doesn't always happen. And I think it's really cool that you do that. CBLIP has opened my eyes to a lot of different techniques, a lot of different people, a lot of different ways of doing things. I'm a better principal because of CBLIP.